Remake. Wasn't sure what channel to post this video on. Uh, this one, or a person, it's nice and important. I guess a lot of people have VR headsets uh, who watch this channel. Right, for the longest time, I've had tracking issues, just inherent game breaking, deal breaking tracking issues with my Valve Index, which has been driving me to the brink of insanity. I've tried all sorts of RMA headset, I've tried different base stations, mounting them in different positions. I cannot get to the bottom of what these tracking issues are. I might have a solution though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the issue that I've had. And if you've bounced onto this video looking for a solution to the tracking issue that you've got, then this might be the solution. Unfortunately though, with lighthouse-based tracking, there's all kinds of different issues with, with how the tracking works and all kinds of different solutions. So this might not actually be the solution to your problem. If that's the case, I apologize, mate. Nothing I can do. There's just lots of different problems with it. So I'm gonna show you what the problem is that I've got and then we'll go through hopefully what the solution is. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm pretty confident it is what it is. Right, so the issue that I've got, this is the index. I've got Lighthouse up there on a tripod and a second one's behind the camera. They're at the optimal height. There is nothing including the line of sight between the two base stations. The index is piped into this GT77 3080 Ti laptop here and you can see the feed is working just fine. Right, and let's get this cracking mate. So I put the index on and everything works tickety boo when I'm stood in the general vicinity. In fact, I can actually occlude the index with my hands, touch it, I can fondle it, my heart's content, and it works great. The problem that I've got in my scenario is when I put myself in the position where I use VR the most, in fact, the majority, which is this driving simulator, and specifically right here, and I'm using it if I so much as now put a finger on the index, it loses tracking. Just literally touching it with a finger puts both lenses in the index to gray. It loses tracking of the base station. And as you can see, it just loses its mind. Just putting a thumb on the IPD just at the bottom causes the tracking to go off. So if I need to grab the mouse or the keyboard to, I don't know, you know, do something, it goes off. And quite frequently, Steam VR will then crash. It won't resume tracking with the break the base stations. I have to exit the simulator that I'm in, and that's just, I mean, that's really wow. And this this sort of stuff happens, right? It's to, it's to, this is making me feel really sick. <laughs> this is wow, you get out of that, right? And that happens. But the, the the weird thing is, is if I stand up, if it even resumes tracking at all, I've still got grey lenses in here, right? It resumes tracking. And now everything's fine, right? It's specifically that place there. But there's nothing including the base stations whilst I'm there. Right, so what's the problem? The problem for me specifically is this. And I've only just realized it. It's the Fanatec Podium DD2 direct drive steering wheel. When this is turned on, it emits huge amounts of RF frequencies, which is interfering with the lighthouse tracking. And that's causing electromagnetic interference, which sends the index haywire. If you've got a very similar issue with the index where literally just touching it with your hands or a finger causes the tracking to go off and the lenses to go gray, but you don't have a steering wheel like this, then you might have like a radio station or a TV tower nearby. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. That's emitting huge amounts of RF frequencies, which is causing issues with the tracking. Short of wrapping your entire room in tinfoil, there's not a lot you can do to really test that. So the solution, it's not, it's quite easy to do, but it's not free. You have to go to eBay or Amazon. I'll put some links in the description and purchase some of these. These are ferrite toroid cores. And I think they're grade FT240-31. And you need to buy about four of them. And you need to wrap your cable through these and these create an EMI suppression barrier that stops the RF frequencies or suppresses the RF frequencies. And hopefully that's gonna be a solution. I'm praying that it is because this has been putting me to the brink of insanity for the longest time. So I'm gonna stop this, I'm gonna wrap the cable around. I'm gonna show the process because there's not many videos that do. And we'll see if this fixes the issue that I've got and maybe that you've got.
Alright, now that's in. Uh, it's plugged in. Uh, the toroid core wrap EMI suppression is let's plug up. Please, that can't bear. Please work. Right, here we go. So, mate, 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 Yes. Fucking get it in. Yep, works. Works an absolute treat. So there's your toroid core. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get in. Hey, it works an absolute dream. My valve index tracking issue is fixed. Oh, this is so good. Well, there you go. So I showed the wrap. You've got to make sure that you get the spiral separation across uh, the the cores. If you can't wrap them together side by side, it doesn't work so good. You've got to make sure you get a pattern like that. It is quite difficult to, to make sure that they spread out evenly. Uh, you've got to make sure you've got big enough cable ties. Uh, you've got to make sure the toroid cores are the right size as well. If you get ones that are too small, the display port cable won't go through. Uh, and the toroid cores, I've shown them on video, uh, people will have questions about which end of the cable you have to wrap through. It has to be the actual cable from the index, uh, the display port cable. But it works. But this is only a solution to, e to the RF frequency uh, Interruption, so I don't want to drag this on any longer than it needs to be. That's the solution to. My... So happy, and I'm so happy. I'm going to go and use this now because this has been such a pain in the ass for the longest time. But if that's your solution, then yeah, I'll link them in the description. Amazon links if they're available in your area. Thanks very much. Subscribe if this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.